Hello, uh, this portion I am creating a SPNet code 8 crude application. Uh, before moving into the code, you need to uh, you know the .NET Core 8 is not LTS support now. So you need to install .NET Core uh, 8.0 preview version. So if you go to the uh, .NET Microsoft uh, ASP.NET Core SDK, then move to the link and here you see the now version 7 is recommended but .NET 6 has a long term support when you are developing any application for the uh, production application then must use long term support uh, version okay but now we are using the .NET 8 version but is not the fully released it will released in November so if you click the get the link then you need to download your operating system i already download i am using windows machine so 64 bit and another important thing is uh, in the dotnet 8.0 you cannot use in the your regular visual studio you need to install a latest preview version so i am already installed in the preview version and you see my preview version has a something right in written there that is pre that is the preview version okay so i also developed a very simple crude application i am not developing this application from scratch because it uh, has a waste of time so it's a very simple crude there is a three first of all i need to show you the folder structure i open in the file explorer and you see i have added the git and vs.vs is the vs visual studio uh, the folder and I created two folder src for my all type of codes and a test for the test project okay and if you go to the src there is a three a one web api and two class libraries present there and basic root is a dll for data database logic layer business logic layer and api now I am moving into the code part you see I created a very simple controller that is contact controller and add contact get contact update contact and delete contact this part i added and in the business logic layer i added a service interface and the implement the interface save changes save contact get all contact get a contact and the delete contact and in the dll folder you see i have added a db model that is the contact a very simple single model and also added the application db context for the database perspective and one thing you need to know that is when you are using dotnet 8 version uh, in the project file you need to false the in variant globalization basically when you are creating a new project that time is added in the true default value but you need to force otherwise the migration is not working smoothly then i run the migration in the project manager console very simple i select the dll folder for that the reason my migration is present there present there and i add the simple add migration initial migration stage step then run the update database okay and now i move to my uh, program file the main file uh, i added the application db context and also inject the service there and added the migration uh, part and 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 one thing i also done that is swagger in swagger part uh, basically when you added a new project swagger only run in the development environment but i remove i added it also run in the product uh, uh, production release also okay not only the debug uh, debug build also the uh, production build also okay so if i click open the in our app settings file i added the connection string 
that is the application DB. If I click the database, click, click the application, then a simple application is created. If I click the contact post, try it out and add something, suppose A, B, C, D, E, F, and not any validation is added. State suppose Dhaka. If I click the execute, data is inserted. If I click the get, try it out, execute and the data information is present there okay so everything is working fine mm, but why is needed docker because our application i added the web api and our sql server now my sql database is present in the mm, <coughs> okay. uh, windows i am opening it the authentication uh, is my my sql server is running my own machine but i need to move it in the docker and also the redis i'm not adding the redis yet but i also connect my application in the docker uh, redis okay so these two portion and the application now i'm running and uh, using the this button but this also uh, run in the using the docker compose is to it we move there and we also host our application in the Azure portal. Okay, and Docker build also present there. And our SQL server and Redis both we uh, uh, connect from the Dockerized container. Okay, so that the reason our application is ready. You also saw the application is working fine. Now I need to add my application in my GitHub app, uh, account, new repo. Uh, I added the repository ASP.NET Core 8 Docker. Okay. Okay. So here's a public repo. I click the create repo. Okay. So I also add the uh, remote origin. So if I click the our project Docker tutorial, open in the uh, PowerShell, uh, open in terminal okay so without adding the origin i added the name is github because i added this application both in the github and azure repository also okay so that's the reason and also i had open my azure devops i already have an account in azure devops sometimes okay so they are in my uh, add the this cephalo modular framework so I click a repo and new repository suppose not need to add the remove now the repo name is docker for sp net net code 8 okay so i add this if i click the create this also added and now i add also this uh, if i click the ssh i need to get remote eight okay i copy this and also open the PowerShell and also need to remove uh, rename this instead of origin I added the Azure okay so if I click OK so two of my uh, remote branch is present there remote location is present there now you know I always use the source tree is a very fantastic graphical tool for working git uh, click open and is the 204 docker tutorial I click the select folder and you see it's showing there if I click OK and now the two portion is present it's all on a stage file before moving forward I click the stage all and uh, initial commit done 
if I click the commit pushing somewhere which branch is push if I go to the branch master okay so remote if I click the remote so if I click the push you see it only showing it's already pushes in the Azure branch if I click the github and remote branch is also create a github branch github also create a master branch for pushing all two area of my code is already pushed successfully here you see the code is present there and if i go to the github account and also click and you see this application also present in this location in my channel i also uh, add this link so you can uh, get this easily okay so this part is for understanding you the process of the application and the basic pattern of the application next portion we discuss about the docker and it's a uh, tutorial based uh, uh, application or tutorial based uh, yeah, practical uh, is a uh, practical application and you step by step learn everything don't uh, uh, hesitate now and i think you learn everything docker from there so bye bye next portion i am starting the basic docker command okay bye